Hey, what's up, homies? Today, I'm going to be doing the mixed girl tag. So, like up this video if you are part of the two or more races club. First question is, what are you mixed with? My mother is 100% Portuguese, and my father is half African American, half Native American. We are part of the Narragansett and Pequot tribes, and we also have a little bit of Eskimo in us. What are you most commonly mistaken for? I often get Spanish um, ethnicities. I get Cuban, I get Brazilian, I get Guatemalan, I get Mexican. I also get um, Dominican. One time when I was at lunch with my friends, Mind my own damn business. She came up to me and said, oh my goodness, are you Persian? No contacts, no nothing. Hi, how are you? Nothing, not, none of that. I didn't know where she came. I did not know her, nothing. It's just crazy to me that people see tan skin and they automatically assume where you are from, what country you are from. People see my skin color and they try to assume me with some exotic country which that couldn't be further from the truth. I am Native American, A. Hey, I am literally from the land that you're standing on, if you're in America. Question number three, is your hair curly or is it straight? Y'all, this is my hair straight out of the shower. Um, I didn't put anything in it yet, because I want you to show, to show you how natural this is top layer is pretty straight but it is curly underneath so curly you're gonna see it get bigger as it dries <laughs> throughout this video was coming from a different background challenging growing up it was it was a little bit challenging considering that the town that i grew up in is small and very very white but it's true, you have to recognize it. They, they don't recognize it because it's just a way of life for them. When you look at a white person, it, nothing is assumed. You don't go up to a white person and say, are you Irish? It's also a struggle growing up for me because my mom is white. She does not know how to take care of curly hair. So we straightened it. I always wanted that, what all the girls in my school had, the sleek, pin straight hair. I damaged my hair. I killed my hair with the constant heat from blow drying and a straight iron. I would not go out with my natural hair. I I wasn't comfortable with it. I, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know how to style it. But now I do. So comment below if you guys want to hear about um, my hair care system, what I do, what I use, all that good stuff. Anyways, I even relaxed my hair in high school. Come on, I wish somebody talked me out of that. I wish somebody was there to tell me, Lauren, you are making a huge mistake. Your curls will never come back, ever. What backgrounds do you embrace the most? All of them. I am so proud to be all of them. I guess Portuguese culture, I am surrounded by that on the daily. I live in a city that all my mother's aunts, uncles, cousins, my whole entire family is there. I love being Native American. It's hard to see what my people continue to go through on a daily basis. The government is still trying to take land away from us. I will never understand, but we need to continue fighting for our rights. Some people may think that my ethnicities collide, but European. Native American and African American, that, that perfectly describes who I am. Number six, have you ever been teased for being different? In middle school, I was in class and we were watching a movie and there was a, a white sitting behind me, blonde hair, blue eyes sitting right behind me. And he raised his hand and said, excuse me, teacher, I can't see. I was mortified. I was so embarrassed that he would make fun of my curly hair like that in front of everyone. And kids are cruel. They're 
rule. Have you ever been ashamed for being multiracial? I have never been ashamed, ever, ever, ever. You have to be proud of who you are. It's a little confusing to feel like, oh, what side am I on? But you're not, you're not on a side, you're not in a box, you are everything, you are a blend. You are a beautiful, beautiful blend. You should never, ever feel ashamed for where you came from, for who your ancestors are. Please, 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 please. You are beautiful. <laughs> Please listen to me. I would never lie to you. Do you feel like being mixed has its benefits? Yes. My mom tells me all the time, you get the best of both worlds. And I truly believe that. I get to understand white people and I understand black people. I understand what both sides go through. I am privileged, but I also have been oppressed before. I have also had my race and my identity being procreated before. So I can identify with both. I do. <laughs> now people try to stick you in one box. So you're either a white girl or you're a black girl. No more. No more mixed people. Mixed kids. We are taking over the world. We are taking over. We are the shit. Okay? <laughs> what makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? Everything about it. Do you have any advice for people struggling with their multiracial identity? Love yourself. Love yourself. You deserve everything in this world. You're not limited to one label. You can be whoever you want to be. Okay? But be proud of who you are, if anything. I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like up this video. Subscribe. Please subscribe so you can see all these next coming these videos coming up. I got some great ideas for you guys. Comment below if you have any more ideas from me. And I'll get back to you. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Like up this video if you understand the struggle. <laughs>